Good afternoon, Abbotsford. I'm on Archway Community Services, here by Rob San Diego, who runs Archway Community Services. Why I'm here at Archway Community Services, I ran for Mayor of Abbotsford, learning of what was taking place from our boards of directors to in our city hall. Only three mayors were allowed in Abbotsford News, and that was because the pro-editors were in Henry's house and Henry was telling them what to put in the newspaper. So I wasn't allowed to run my campaign. I brought one of the best in BC's premiers in to help me with the campaign and their MLAs on the corruption that was taking place on residents. Abbotsford is well aware of Henry Brown knocked seniors' houses off the mountain and damaged them with Ross Siemens, who was the mayor at the time and allowed his son in front for conflict of interest. Ross claimed his GST was more important than the values of Abbotsford residents. He didn't govern. He was not doing what was elected as the city council. He was also took over for Henry during the conflict and allowed Henry's son. Ross believes that the law shouldn't punish him. So during this election, I ran for your mayor, knowing this. But before I go into this, there's a democracy called Abbotsford being challenged. That democracy is to help me put that with Abbotsford residents on every page and call for the full weight of the law, the Attorney General. Greg Toes, who ran the Chamber of Commerce, endorsed Ross three months in advance, giving him 16,000 votes, and I could tell you Ross would be your mayor whether you liked it or not. He cheated. He cheated and he rigged it. That advertising gave him a $300,000 advertising to put him in. Dave Sudu, who's Ross's best friend, who was in problems with elections, BC elections, said on his last campaign and his campaign before, his dad, Andy Sudu, is the chancellor of the university. Dave Sudu had me removed and threatened by the UFV to get Ross that money. I, in my opinion, I believe Ross asked Dave to do that so he could get that mayor's check for his wife. Because Dave Sudu was running the city council and I was running as a mayor. Andy Sudu, his dad, said, I never did that, I've been here 48 years. My son did that for Ross. And that's a federal offense. I said, yes, Andy, it is. I want the full weight of the law. That will take place. Ed Fast and Michael D. John have been covering this for Henry Brown. So that democracy, Abbotsford being challenged, is to overturn the election. There's also a new newspaper coming that'll help you. I wear this Olympic coat because it's like a Superman's cape. It's pulled everybody in Abbotsford together for me. Henry's neighbors, Henry's kids, and other people's kids. Rob San Diego happens to be Andy Sidhu's best friend. Rob Santiago had raised the money with Archway Community Services for our farmers and won't release how much money they raised and how much they paid out and to which people they paid it, meaning their friends. Ed Fast stood in Ottawa asking Trudeau, will you not represent Archway Community Services? Trudeau's spokesman said no, the Red Cross. Then Ed Fast asked again, for Archway Community Service and Gateway. Trudeau's guy stood up and said no. Basically, in my opinion, Trudeau said, you're loading your own community charities, and he knew that. So Archway Community Services is gonna have its handout for this flood victim money. And Rob San Diego, who's friends with Andy Sudu and Dave Sudu, will be begging Ross to kick him that money. So to Pamela Alexis, the Minister of Ag, and the NDP lady, who's gonna grant this money, will be under pressure about Rob Santiago and what took place in Archway Community Services and where this money is going and the accountability of it. Pamela Alexis will be put in the spotlight to basically defer this money to somebody with credibility. Maybe a Daryl Pluckus, who was the Speaker of the House. Maybe a John Ben Doggin. Somebody with credibility. Or maybe a different charity like Mission Skills or somebody. It has to go to somebody else because of what Rob San Diego has done. Rob San Diego will not come out here in an interview and say what he's done with this money that he's raised. In my opinion, they're going to keep this money and probably build shelters or something so they can pull it out with construction money. Rob San Diego has not released anything. And again, Rob San Diego is not only did he not release that, Dave Sudu and Andy Sudu are his best friends. And Dave Sudu as the chamber of commerce who threw me out, wouldn't let me debate if I was to stand on stage and help these old seniors. Great toes. Then at UFB, Dave Sudu goes in and asks 
the guy at the elections, to remove me so Ross could win. Not only remove me, but threaten me. So Ross Siemens could get that paycheck. I want the full weight of the law for Abbotsford residents. What Henry Brown did with the Abbotsford police through the election, threatening, fines, intimidation, calls for the whole weight of the law. So the Rob San Diego, this is your friend, Dave Sudu, Andy Sudu. This is your best friend, Ross Siemens, that caused this. This is your friend that you must now make a public release of what you're, where you stand on this and what you did. They're loading their own charities and their own boards. This is how I knew Henry was doing that at the Abbotsford Police Department. Henry got in his Alexis car, left the city, came to a protest where seniors were, and I was, on their houses, hit and ran me and put me in the hospital, then fled from the scene of the accident. Mike Sears and Donna Macy decided, Donna Macy decided she was going to play big girl. Big girl. She was going to cover it for Henry. Henry had a lot of money in Abbotsford and political connections, and he was going to do that. It's organized crime in our community police department, and it went so far and so bad, and all they're after now, and it boils down to, is the money. The money. So to Pamela Alexis, I do not blame Trudeau saying no right now to the federal funds to come in for our flood farmers because our farmers won't make it. It'll be being pointed to where Rob San Diego and Henry Brown and Ross want, to their special groups, probably their gravel pits and their constructions. So Trudeau is doing right because of what Ed Fast has done. Ed Fast was aware of what Henry did. So Ed Fast went into Ottawa and got his face slapped. And that is what Ed Fast deserved, because Ed Fast was aware of what Henry Brown did. Ed Fast just bet that Henry was so well connected in Abbotsford that he could cover it. So that is to, so to Rob San Diego and to everybody who watches my channels, this Olympic coat brought the Olympics together. This Olympic coat has brought everybody together, from your neighbors to your secretaries to everybody. And they have stood up for what's right in Abbotsford, our families. And they have stood up for people that were using city offices and offices to load money. Dave Sudu overcrossed his boundaries. Dave Sudu threatened a UFV to get Ross Siemens on. Ross Siemens, in my opinion, asked Dave Sudu to do that so he could get that check. And what took place with Greg Toast at the chamber was just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting in a democracy we live. And this is why Abbotsford News paper would do this, because they were in Henry's house. So to Vicky Hopes, I have this to tell you. Eminem did a song, and I think the lyrics should be changed. Won't the real Vicky Hopes please stand up, please stand up, and call Archway Community Service, Rob San Diego out, live in Abbotsford, B.C.